154 cruise missiles, more firepower than an entire carrier battle group. This is the story of how America builds the ultimate silent predator. Groton, Connecticut, the submarine capital of the world. Easy on the drop. This HY-80 steel is the toughest armor on Earth. High-yield steel, capable of withstanding pressure that would crush a regular ship like a soda can. The flat plates are rolled into perfect cylinders. These will become the pressure hull. Tolerance is less than a sixteenth of an inch. If it's not perfect, it doesn't dive. Automatic submerged arc welding fuses the plates into a single, seamless monocoque. Section by section, the 560-foot Leviathan begins to take shape. The engine room, the S8G nuclear reactor, strictly classified. This shielding keeps the crew safe. We live right next to a nuclear star. The reactor heats water to create steam. The steam drives the turbines. Align the reduction gears. We need zero vibration. Silence is survival. Sherwood Forest. Home to 24 vertical launch tubes. This isn't for nuclear war anymore. We're converting the tubes to carry seven cruise missiles each. Lower, lower, stop. We're aligned on the locking ring. 30 miles of piping. The circulatory system of the beast. The sail, reinforced to smash through three feet of Arctic ice. She's starting to look like a submarine now. The sonar sphere, more sensitive than the human ear able to track targets oceans away. Close it up, keep the sensors clean. Anechoic tiles, they absorb enemy sonar, making the ship disappear. No more optical periscopes. We use high-definition photonics masts. Six months in a box this size. It takes a special kind of person. It makes its own air. Theoretically, the only limit is pooed. Keep that prop covered. Satellites are watching. Construction is complete. Now, she meets the water. Let her swim. Eight thousand tons of steel, 
floating on displacement. Go get him, beautiful! Yes, I christen thee, USS Ohio. The MK-48 Advanced Capability Torpedo. Smart, fast, and inescapably lethal. The secret to the SSGN conversion is the MAC. Seven missiles where there used to be one. One hundred and fifty-four. That's a lot of bad days for the bad guys. The fire control system can coordinate a massive swarm attack in seconds. This is where the seals exit, submerged, unseen. The dry deck shelter, a garage for mini subs attached to the hull. In an emergency, these batteries are the only thing keeping the crew alive. Pull the control rods, monitor core temp. Fission begins. Unlimited power is unleashed. Steel is strong, but the crew is the soul of the ship. She's all yours, Captain. Bring her home safe. We always do, Hank. Control, bridge. We are past the breakwater. Make turns for 15 knots. Once the hatch closes, they leave the world behind. Rig for dive. Rig for dive. Vents open, the air escapes, gravity takes over. Level off at four zero feet, trim the ship. The ship is blind, it sees with sound. Plank speed, pushing 18,000 tons through the water at over 25 knots. The hull is compressing. That popping sound, that's the steel settling. Prepare for emergency blow. On my mark. Forty-five hundred PSI of air blasts into the tanks, forcing the water out instantly. She passed every test, Captain. She's a warship now. Ninety days of food, coffee, spare parts. Self-sufficiency is the rule. They won't see the sun again for three months. Rig for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet. No running, no drop tools. Even the toilet flush is restricted. The 
this is it. The scenario the Ohio SSGN was built for. Before launch, the ship must be perfectly still, hovering 150 feet below the waves. Booster ignition. Transition to flight. Ripple fire. The ability to launch a swarm of destruction in minutes. Target destroyed. Surgical precision from a thousand miles away. Launch complete. Clear the datum. Flank speed. Deep submergence. Ugh. After the strike, the shooter must vanish before retaliation arrives. The mission is done. But the voyage home is long. Smell that? That's land. That's home. Returning to Groton, the Phantom becomes visible again. They sacrificed their time, their sunlight, their lives above water for us. She looks good, Captain. A little saltier, but good. The mission ends, but the cycle continues. Maintenance, training, deployment, the best weapon is the one you never have to use. That is the promise of the Ohio class. Silent, unseen, always watching. The guardian of the deep. A marvel of engineering. A masterpiece of American steel. And as long as the oceans are deep, they will be there.